Hey everybody, welcome back to a new video. As you guys know, I'm always on the lookout for really good deals when it comes to solar panels. And right here, I think I have found a really good option. Right here is Pecron's 100 watt folding solar panel. It's lightweight, waterproof, and comes in at a really good price. Now, anybody who's familiar with these folding solar panels knows they're usually priced around two to $3 per watt. But this one right here is actually priced at $99 or right around $1 per watt. So I'm excited to set this up and see how much power we get from it. Now, it only took a few seconds to set up this solar panel. You can see there are four individual sections. And then if we look at the back, you have three kickstands and these kickstands are adjustable and they do a pretty good job holding the solar panel straight. Now it's important to have your solar panel angled properly at the sun in order to get peak power. During the summer, you're most likely going to have your solar panel laying flat on the ground. And in the winter months, you're gonna to have to prop it up like this because the sun is lower in the sky. Now I like to use the can trick in order to get the proper angle. Let me show you how that works. Now, when you have the can laying on the solar panel, if it's properly angled at the sun, you'll have very little shadow. You can see as I move this around, the shadow gets bigger. And so if it's facing directly at the sun, you don't see any shadow. Well, now that the solar panel is angled properly, I just want to show you guys the solar conditions today. It is around 55 degrees and we have pretty clear skies. There's just a little bit of haze and it is later in the year. So the sun is very low in the sky and that's why the solar panel is propped up so straight. Now for our testing today, we'll be using the Pecron E1500 to see how much power we can get from this solar panel. I've just plugged it into the 100 watt charging port and you can see we're getting 98 to 97 watts input. So almost full rated power from the solar panel. Now I will mention it is cooler today and solar panels typically perform better when it's cooler outside. So in the summer, when it's a lot hotter, you'll probably see less power, but 97 watts is pretty respectable. So in the next test on the solar panel, I wanna see how it performs under partial shading. When you're using these panels, it's pretty common to get shade on the panel. So what happens as you shade half the panel? Do you lose all the power output or do you still get half the wattage? So if you look at the screen, we are getting 52 watts input. So it's great that we don't lose all the power. If you shade half the panel, you're gonna see about half the power output. Now taking a closer look at the actual solar panel, it does use a durable and waterproof ETFE coating. And then looking at the actual solar cells, there are 10 bus bars. So it uses a modern solar cell design. Now, one downside to the solar panel is that the power cable comes with a 5521 barrel plug. Now, this is compatible with Pecron power stations, but if you're wanting to use this in a series or parallel configuration, or if you want to connect this up to a different power station, you're going to need an adapter. Now, down in the video description, I'll recommend one. This is going to be a 5521 to MC4, so you can connect these in series, connect them in parallel, or to a different power station. Now, there are a few advantages of going with a folding solar panel like this. For example, they are typically less weight. This only comes in at seven and a half pounds or about 3.5 kilograms. And it also takes up a lot less space than a traditional 100 watt solar panel. For example, you can see it's very thin and small. Now the two halves are actually held together by a magnetic clamp. And each of the kickstands have a snap here and the two halves actually have a snap at the bottom as well. Now, the one thing that I've noticed about this panel is it's so lightweight, it does have a little bit of bend to it. So you would wanna be careful not to bend it. And in the summer, when it's really hot, you'll probably notice a little bit of sag on this panel because it's so thin. Now, I actually have two of these 100 watt panels and I thought it'd be beneficial if I showed you guys connecting both of them together in series, working on the Pecron E1500 LFP power station. Now, if you only have a single 100 watt solar panel, it'll connect right into this port. But if you have two solar panels, you will have to use the larger PV port and that requires at least 30 volts. So you do have to connect the solar panels together in series for them to start charging. Now, by using the adapters that I recommended previously, we're able to get MC4 connections on the solar panels. So I have one solar panel right here and then I have the other solar panel right here. Now, what you do to wire these in series is you take the positive and negative of each of the solar panels and you connect them together. And then the two remaining adapters that are left go into the power station for a series connection. Now, with both those solar panels connected in series, we're seeing right around 171 to 172 watts. Now, keep in mind, we are no longer near midday. It's a little bit later in the afternoon, so our power has been reduced. Okay, guys, now that we finished the testing on these Pecron 100 watt panels, I really wanna know what you guys have to think about them. So make sure you leave a comment down below. Let me know if this is something that you'd be interested in. Now I was interested in these originally because their price was affordable. They're super lightweight and waterproof. And I think that applies to a lot of people that don't want a solar panel that takes up a ton of space. 
Now just remember there are different solar panels out there. You have glass rigid panels, you have flexible panels, and you have these folding panels. And I actually have a video going over that that I'll include down in the video description. So if you happen to be looking for a folding solar panel like this, I'll make sure to include the link to these down in the video description so you guys can learn more about them. A special thank you to Pecron for sending both of these out for testing. I just had to know how they performed, and now I know that you can get pretty good power from these. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you liked the video, please smash the thumbs up button. I'll recommend a couple other videos that you guys can check out from my channel. And just remember, if you have any questions about solar, batteries, or power stations, I do have a basic consulting service that you can check out called Ask Me. The link to that will be down in the video description. Have a good one.